Hey guys and welcome to Nick Grit. Today we're going to work on this really cute shower poof slash loofah thing that I was taught to do originally by some amazing woman in a yarn shop in Pennsylvania. So this is not my original design but I've seen it in lots of different places and this is just my variation on how to make this. I love it because you can wash it, it's eco-friendly, it's also budget-friendly because you don't have to spend the three dollars every single month to get a new loofah because you're supposed to replace these things every month. I like it because instead I can just spend the two dollars on the yarn that I'm going to be making it with and even less sometimes depending on if I can get yarn mill ends for a discount. For this project you don't need much, believe it or not. About a skein and a half of lilies and cream. I'm actually using some yarn mill ends but the dye lot looks exactly like lilies and cream so I'm assuming that that's what this is. Any cotton yarn will do. And this took me about a yard and a half so I'd say probably about 200 yards will get you this nice sized loofah right here. You're also going to need a darning needle, and I'm using a size J or 6mm crochet hook, and this is a Susan Bates. I prefer these because of the way that their hooks are made and how it has this nice little ingroove and a nice pointy edge without being too pointy. Alright, let's get started. To start out, you're going to want to make a magical ring. Next up, you're going to want to chain until you have the length of your loofah chain here. So I chained between 40 and 50 to get this chain right here. This is essentially what we're making right now, and I chained, I believe I chained 50 for this, but it's whatever length you want this nice little string to be. So when you're done with that, you're going to then slip stitch back inside of your magical ring here, and you're going to single crochet 20 inside of your magical ring. I will see you when my chains are done, and I'll show you a bit more specifically how I did that. So now we have our magical ring here. We slip stitched back in from our chaining here, which creates this nice little handle loofah string here. And we're going to single crochet 20 single crochets inside of our magical loop here. I can actually get in. There we go. And we're going to put 20 in there. And when we're done with that, we're going to pull our string tight. So I'll see you when I have 20 single crochets around. So now that you have 20 single crochets in your little loop there, we're going to then place four double crochets inside every single one of those single crochets. And instead of having 20 single crochets, at the end of this we'll have 80 double crochets coming out of each one. And you'll see how it starts to loop around and get all loofah-y at the end of that. So. And then in the next round after that, we're just going to continue putting four double crochets in every single one. So we're going to end up with 80 double crochets at the end of this row, and then the next round we're going to end up with 320 double crochets. And then on the round after that, which is the final round to get it to the size of this, we're going to have 1,280 double crochets to work on. And we've got our loop right here, which will come out of the center of all that. And after this round, we're going to sew in our tail through the backs of everything from this round. And that's basically it. You just keep going around, and I make a nice little chain marker right here so that I can tell when my, my it, you, you lose track easy. So I put a stitch marker, 100% I would put a stitch marker right there. Maybe it's just tying some yarn off or actually having a legit stitch marker. So I will see you at the end of this when I've got all of my double crochets done on this round and you'll see what it looks like. So I've already put a bunch of four double crochets in all of these and I still have half to go. And you'll see that it's already starting to twist around itself, it's already starting to begin looking like a loofah. And honestly that's all there is to it, is you just put four double crochets in the stitch that came before it. And you keep doing that around, keep doing that around. So these four double crochets that you put here are going to turn into 16 and those 16 are going to turn into 64. So we keep going outward, and that's basically all I did for this entire design, is you just keep putting four double crochets in the stitch that came before it. And I will show you what it looks like when it's all done. This is what you should have at the end when you've done all of your four double crochets inside every single one. Keeping in mind that at the end round, I had 1,280 double crochets working into this. You could also make a larger Lufa by increasing even more by going another round and getting it to over 5,000 double crochets, 
but I like the shape of this and I like the size of it. It's just the right size and it's about what you find in your basic store. So I'm gonna keep doing it with only 1280 because it's much less of a headache and eventually this will start loosening up and become bigger regardless, but not too much. All right, if you like this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe to our channel. It really does help us out. And also, if you liked this video, be sure to be on the lookout for its sister video where we did these nice little cute crocheted facial scrubbies. These are nice just for having if you have to remove makeup or at the end of the night when you just wash your face. I really like these. So be sure to be on the lookout for this video as well. Until next time, guys.